I spoke to a That's friend not a plan. in Alberta about the abandoned and orphaned wells, and he said, here's the thing. They're not shut down. What they do is they just walk away from them and say, no, 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 we'll, we'll go back and pump eventually. Yeah, this when is we how have newer technology that will help. Yeah, when we have newer technology that will help us get whatever's left in there that we can't get now or that's not cost effective yeah. us, yeah. we'll go back and pump them. Yeah. So they, they say that so that they can avoid doing what they're contractually bound to do, which is clean it mm -hmm. up. It's it's a yep. nice little end run around things. Yeah, it's another it's yeah. another variation on their technology not taxes thing. But it's like technology not taxes is great, but somebody has to invent that magic technology that's going to take mm -hmm. the place of the reductions that could be coming via a carbon regulatory fee. Well, it's, and our perfect cool. example is carbon capture and storage. They've been talking to us, talking to that, but talking to us about that for eighteen damn oh, years. Yeah. Yeah, and we still done. don't have, I mean, we, we've got money going into pilot projects and that type of stuff, but it still hasn't, you know, said, okay, yeah, this is actually the way it actually really, really, really works. It works effectively to make the investment worth it. And we are upscaling this across the country. Mm. That's where you're putting, where you're committing money so that like every province and, or, you know, every major polluter has, you know, the capacity to dot itself with something like that. Mm. We haven't done it because the technology is not there. It doesn't exist. Technology, not taxes, is just, again, kicking the can down the road. Well, let's wait till some smart person somewhere who we're not funding very well to begin with and whose Clearly. research we're not funding.